Your Velux curing light can be powered in two different ways. Whether you prefer uninhibited, battery-powered, cordless operation, or the reliability of corded operation, your kit comes with everything you need. To use Velux curing light battery-powered, ensure your battery is fully charged. Twist the cap at the base of the curing light to release the back cap and insert the battery with the positive terminal facing towards the lens. Secure the back cap by turning it clockwise until it stops. To charge your Velux battery, remove the battery from the Velux unit. Insert the battery into the battery charger in the orientation shown in the charger. The battery can take one to three hours to fully charge. An amber light indicates the battery is charging. A green light indicates the battery is fully charged. No light should appear when the cradle is in standby mode. Use only authorized accessories, cables, chargers, batteries, and power supplies to prevent improper operation, increase electromagnetic emissions, or decrease electromagnetic immunity. To avoid the risk of electrical fire associated with handling batteries, use the Velux battery with care. Do not autoclave or spray the battery, battery contacts, charger, or AC power supply with liquid of any kind. Do not charge batteries near flammable materials. Do not keep the charger in clinical laboratory. Do not use alternate batteries with other chargers, and do not use the charger for non-rechargeable batteries. Always ensure your battery is in good working condition and free from corrosion, rust, leakage, admitted odors or fluids, torn or missing wrapping, or damage of any kind. To use your Velux light with included cord adapter, remove the back cap and remove the battery. Insert the cord adapter and secure with a clockwise turn until it stops. The power supply is a shared component for the battery charger and the cord adapter. Position the power supply where it can be easily disconnected. 